What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda. If you've always wanted your Amazon Echo to sound better, you might want to check out the studio. Hey guys, I just picked this up. It just came out. It's the Amazon Echo Studio. And man, this thing is big. And not only will we unbox this and take a look at it, but we will try it out. I'll give you some of my thoughts. But this thing is supposed to be the pinnacle of sound quality from the Amazon Echo ecosystem. And what I kind of think this might be like is the HomePod from Apple. Everyone actually says that the HomePod sounds amazing. The problem is it's several hundred dollars and Siri sucks. So it's just not the smart assistant you want, but Alexa is great. So they have come out with a competitor. Get it in this little like tie back bag here, Alexa. And there she is, man. This thing has some serious heft to it. Uh, is it big? Uh, compared to the other Echoes, this thing is big, as you might be able to see here. Uh, it's a gray cloth material, very similar to the cloth material that you get on the Amazon Echo Plus. We have a little bit of a rubberized base here. You can see it goes all the way up to the edge, slight beveled lip right there. And so this will sit right down there and kind of grip onto any surface that you've got. What you can see here is you actually have cutouts here because I think you have a downward facing subwoofer. So you can see all the way through. I saw some away. So it kind of blasts out base out of the bottom here. On the back here, you have some connectors. Looks like a, a fairly large power cord. That's going to be unique to this as opposed to the other uh, echoes. It looks like we also have micro USB right there. And then also a three and a half millimeter uh, aux plus optical jack. Cool. I like combination stuff. And then on the top, it looks like we have the little tiny holes all the way around for microphone pickups because when you're blasting out a lot of audio, you need very sensitive microphones to listen through it for your voice. And then we also have some button controls which will look very familiar to Amazon Echo users. Uh, plus minus there for usually volume control, microphone off there, and then the power button right there. So, because I just unboxed this and closed up the box, I'm saying, hey, I don't see any cordage, but there it is oh, in the bottom of the box. Sorry, all fell out. And here is the cord itself. And you can see it's kind of like a laptop plug, uh, two prong, non-grounded uh, cord here, black. So that should hide away. I think this is the only color combination that I saw for this. So unlike some of the other Echoes, like this one, that came in the sandstone, I think it only comes in black. Now, the question is, how well does it work? I'm sure from a feature standpoint, everything I ask it to do, is gonna be no different than anything I ask my Echo Plus to do, but it's the audio quality that's really supposed to be impressive. And the one reason here is that not only do you have a lot of speakers, I think there are two inch speakers, but you have this upward facing one and then outward facing ones. And what it will do is I think it'll listen and read or at least interpret like echoes that are here. So if it's up against a wall, it will optimize the output to optimize the audio quality. So it's supposed to be pretty darn smart and sound kind of amazing. This one won't do any of that as far as I know. It just kind of pumps out sound. Now this is actually sounds pretty good. I've used this uh, in my living room to play music and I think it sounds pretty good. So I'm expecting this to sound great. Now let's take a little look at this. I am holding them uh, side by side here. This thing is quite a bit bigger. Obviously it's tearing up my arm a little bit, but you can see here, it would fit completely within that control panel portion. Um, so I expect nothing less than being blown away by this. Now. Having that expectation set pretty high, I'm often a little disappointed. I even think this supports Dolby Atmos. And then you can also pair these bad boys together. So kind of like the HomePod, you can have a left and a right and get stereo sound out of them. So I'm gonna get this one set up and then we will try listening to some audio from both and compare them. Okay, as this thing is powering up, it's got some chimes and even that is impressive. I could feel the bass in my chest. Setup. Right out of the Go gate. Sounds pretty good. Get this thing set up and let's try it out. Your 
Your echo is ready. All right, I got these little bad boys set up here. And what I was told by this one is that those sounds that you heard were it tuning itself to your room. Now, this isn't the room where I'm gonna wanna have this permanently, so I'm hoping to find in the settings a place to kind of recalibrate that. But I will tell you, this thing puts out a lot of sound. But I wanna show you what it does. Now, I've turned off the microphone on this one, so we shouldn't be disturbing her at all. One of the things that you can do with this little bad boy is apparently play 3D music. Alexa, play 3D music. The playlist, best of 3D music on Amazon Music. It's kind of crazy. It totally is pumping out sound in different places. Dude, I'm impressed. This thing does sound good. I know you won't be able to feel that bass, but it is buzzing this table. I tell you what. I mean, I've played around with the Sonos before. I've played around with the HomePod a little bit. And man, this sounds as good as any of those. Now, I can't compare them directly, but I can compare it directly to the Echo Plus. Alexa, play King of Wishful Thinking. Here's the King of Wishful Thinking by Go West on Amazon Music. Crank it up the volume here a little bit. So you can compare. Alexa, play King of Wishful Thinking. The King of Wishful Thinking by Go West on Amazon Music. It's all around. This sounds pretty good. Alright guys, there's just no contest. This works very well and it sounds pretty good, but it sounds kind of like one of those portable Bluetooth speakers. It's just kind of broadcasting sound out, you know, and uh, the bass and the treble, it's all a pretty good mix. It's kind of like having a single focus disposable camera in some ways. This is just at a different level and as you can see, you would expect it based on more hardware, more speakers, and more technology packed into it. but. I don't know how well it's doing optimizing in this particular room, but it sounds great. And as I put my hands on this table, I can just feel that bass pumping, even on a song that wasn't really designed for bass, kind of like modern music is. Uh, this thing is pretty impressive. I don't know how well it'll come across on this video, but if you're looking for a single Amazon Echo device to play music, to listen to audio, podcast, stories, videos, whatever it might be, you know, this is the one you want. And if you're gonna put it in a large room, I don't know that you're gonna need multiple of these. It could be pretty cool to pair them up, but man, this thing is awesome. Check it out, if you wanna pick this up, it's also one of the cheapest high quality speakers out there at $189 retail, I think. Um, you know, so I might pick up another one. I might for another room, but it sounds awesome. Check it out. I'll put a link to the description. Peter Von Panda, out.